when working with applications of systems and realizing that there will be interest problems with a total principle given, we need to first define the variables. Then we need to make an equation for the investment. Next, make an equation for the interest. And always remember when using a percent, we must convert it to a decimal. In example one, a woman invests 4,600 in two different accounts. The first paid 13% and the second paid 12% interest. From here, let's write down what our variables are going to be. The amount A is going to be at an interest rate of 13 percent or 0.13. The second amount, amount B, is at an interest rate of 12 percent or 0.12. At the end of the first year, she had earned $586. So we know that she's given a certain amount toward investment, and if we add the two parts at different interest rates together, we get $4,600 total that she's invested. We know that at the end of the first year, she's earned $586, so that will allow us to write the second equation. If we multiply the percentage rate times the amount plus the other percentage rate times that amount, we'll be given the total amount earned at the end of the year. Now we need to isolate one of the variables. If I multiply by negative 0.13 to both sides of my equation, I will then get negative 0.13a minus 0.13b is equal to negative $598. If I add these two equations to each other, my a's add to zero. My b terms are now negative 0.01b is equal to negative 12. If I divide both sides of my equation by a negative 0.01, I get b is equal to one thousand two hundred dollars. From here I can solve for A. Since I know A plus B is equal to four thousand six hundred dollars from up here, I can then substitute twelve hundred in for B and I get A plus twelve hundred is equal to $4,600. Subtracting 1,200 from both sides, I get A is equal to $3,400. So 1,200 was invested at 
twelve percent and three thousand four hundred was invested at thirteen percent. Let's look at example two. A bank loaned out four thousand nine hundred dollars to two different companies. The first company and the second company. It says the first loan had a interest rate of four percent. So that means A, amount A, will be at four percent. And amount B, or the second amount, will be at thirteen percent. At the end of the first year, the loan had accrued $421 in interest. So we know that the total amount invested was A plus B and that amount was $4,900. We also know the interest rate at which each amount was invested. point zero four A plus point one three B is equal to the total that was made after f one year, which is four hundred twenty one dollars. I need to clear one of my variables to solve for the other and so I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by negative point zero four. When I do this, I get negative point zero four A minus point zero four B is equal to negative one hundred ninety six dollars. From here, I can drop my A's out because they add to zero and my B terms add to point zero nine B equal to adding four hundred twenty one to negative one ninety six, I get two hundred twenty five. Now I just divide by point zero nine on both sides and I get B is equal to two thousand five hundred. Now that I know B, I can use my first equation that A plus B equals four thousand nine hundred substituting in four thousand, sorry, two thousand five hundred in for B, I get A plus two thousand five hundred is equal to four thousand nine hundred. Subtracting two hundred or two thousand five hundred from both sides, I now have A is equal to two thousand four hundred. So my two amounts that were invested were A and B. A was invested at four percent or two thousand four hundred at four percent and value B or amount B was two thousand five hundred at thirteen percent.